fan of XX nails coming to you with a new sparkly French gold nails. So here I go with this nice creamy, creamy white. Mmm. Does it make you want to eat some nice cream or maybe have some whipped cream? Mmm. Have a nice dessert, you know, holiday dessert. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Okay. I don't know why I'm saying that. Or have a nice glass of milk, even though I don't drink glasses of milk, but I like milk for some things. But yeah. Besides that, fitting this creamy, creamy, milky deliciousness, dessertness on my nails. So this French. I'm using this as my base. So I have a place to put the sparkles on because, or it shows through a little too much. Even though the sparkles I'm going to do are very opaque, as you will see in a minute. After I finish my nice and nice pinky there, which I think is a really nice shape and length, I think. But here we go. Oh, seeing those sparkles always makes me happy when I have every single, single nail I do now pretty much. I always have to have a little sparkle somehow, even if it's not a lot like I'm doing here. As you can see, it's very opaque. It still shows the color through, so if you want a lot of sparkle but still show the other color through, then I would recommend you can use this one for that still. Like maybe you have a red or something and you're mostly doing sparkle, but you show that so you just do one layer coat. I'm going to be doing two because I want to really cover it. But here we go. After the, Now I'm putting this nice thing here away from my stamper onto my middle finger here. Oh, I love stamping. It's so amazing and awesome to stamp with this thing. I love stamping because then I can do designs really easily and stuff like that. It makes it, I can't do a design like this that easily. These are really skinny lines and everything. I can do all these perfect things. I'm really glad to be back at my roots of doing this because I haven't been able to for some months now. But here it is. Now I'm doing my point of finger. Ooh. Yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> flat, flat, flat. And now here I am, I'm scraping off the excess. Because if your nail polish underneath is really, really dry, you can take off the excess of the stamper because it's so thin it scrapes off. That's why you want to put a clear coat on top after you're done. But here I go with my thumb. Oh, my thumb's an awesome shape here. I, I'm putting a nice, you can see how it really covers. And maybe you're probably seeing the white through. It'd probably look different if I had a red or something underneath. But yeah. So here I am, after I put, stamped it and everything. Of course, my thumb is harder to stamp in in the camera, so I have a nice line because I'm loving these doing a line right between the two colors. If I do any two colors, I usually put a line of black, silver, gold, whatever color I feel like. But those are the ones I do the colors I do the most as a line like this. Like I'm using my brush, so I decided I'd try silver. It gives it just a slight, slight thing, which is cool. And this one I wanted to make it a little more fun, so I added some of those really awesome love, love gold sparkles. If you've seen me use them before. I'm using like crazy. And then, of course, because I'm doing it, I'm adding them to my thumb. Adding them to my thumb. Just the bottom, because I didn't want to cover up the the, the stamping, because I'm not usually a fan of stamping to be covered by sparkles, but it does look cool at times. It was a cool, maybe a clear kind of white sparkle. That would probably look cool, but it's pretty sparkly under there, so I don't need to cover up the, because sometimes those are really nice to just be crisp and black. No, sparkly black. So. But as I wanted to do with these, as I've done this before, I wanted to put a black line instead to match it all up. Especially because I did it on my accent finger. It matches it even more the black line to black line. So there they are. Woo! Now I hold it all in. I get my nice glossy top coat here. Or taco. Top taco or whatever. Like <laughs> something neurological. Here. And I'm to hold it in because if you don't do this, your stamp... Your stamping will start coming off, as you saw that you could scrape it off. I couldn't scrape it off in the beginning because I, had, I didn't wait long enough for it to dry, but I got it off. So you use that to hold it all in so your stamping and then your French your nail lasts longer, especially for French. Because you want to get a good amount of nail polish on the bottom, not like thick or anything. But you're always getting more on the tip, which is good because that's where it gets the most wear and tear. So then it lasts longer there, or you get little tips. But there we go. Here, I thought I'd show you my other hand, which I did all the silver and then the gold sparkles as well and then here is the one i did for you hope you like it till my next video and have fun this holiday season yeah move 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 and friends thank you for watching sparkle sparkle